Do 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 do. Right, let's turn that off. Hopefully, we're live. We're live. We should be, hopefully. Still don't get what it takes ages to show me the picture. Uh, 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 uh. Are we there? Why is it telling me my video is unavailable? Yep, no. Refresh. Are we live? We are, I think. Are we live? Yes, we are. Right, hopefully the sound's all okay. Um, right, hello YouTube. Welcome to this next video. It's been a, two weeks now since I've done one, um, but it is the 1st of December. So Christmas is on the... Uh, just around the corner. Um, no sales today either yet, which is interesting, but hopefully we'll all have a good month. Uh, but yeah, welcome everyone, thanks for tuning in. Um, Jennifer's popped in just to say hi. She's currently sitting in a 9 to 5 job, oh bless. Well hopefully when, when you get home you can watch. <laughs> um, but it's Friday, Jennifer, you've only got one more day you can do this. Um, welcome Karen, how are you doing? Um, right, so, yeah video today. I've not really got much of a massive topic to discuss. Um, obviously I've been away. I went to London last weekend. Hello Daisy, welcome everyone that's just joining. Um, I yeah, went to London last weekend and unfortunately didn't get to look around any of the um, charity shops in London. It was just one of those things. There was lots of, uh, we did lots of stuff and we didn't. We just didn't get a chance to go and have a look around. So um, I'm not upset about it. I mean it would have been nice to see what what stuff there was there and the difference in prices but we did um we did stop on the way back uh up north when we were driving back up north at a few places uh, and i did manage to pick up a few bits um actually i found another one pound shop as well i think i'm not sure if this is just age uk generally um if you guys know any more um but um the age uk shops seem to do one pound deals all the time and uh yeah, I found another one in Newark that was just a one pound shop and it was great. So, uh, hi, there is no sales from either yet. That's a shame, isn't it? Um, I've done, actually, to be fair, all things considered, uh, no sales today, but all things considered, sales have been good last sort of week and a half. Um, obviously, I'll go through that at the end of the video. But, um, yeah, I've got some things to show and I've just realised I've got a suit through there that I've forgotten about. Um, I'll leave it. I'll you'll see it in another video. Um, it's not too much of an issue, uh, but I will start going through what I've got. And as I say, there's not not really. I just wanted to have a chat with you guys and just um, have a sales update and maybe have a have a look over some of the auctions that I. So previous, not the previous video, the video before, um, I discussed about the option of maybe auctioning some of my items instead of uh, buy it now to, to increase the, the sale traffic to my. Um, to my eBay. Uh, now, I have been doing quite a few auctions and not all of them have gone <laughs> as planned. So I guess we can have a little chat about that and, and have a discussion on the fact that is it worthwhile having auctions for the sake of getting sales or do you sit and wait and, and just you wait for the sales to come in when they come in? Um, it's still something that I'm toying with and I don't know what you guys do. But it's um, yeah, it's an interesting one, really. Uh, a bit of a shame because uh, I'll talk to you about it in a little bit. But yeah, it's a little bit of a shame. There's, there's something that I had that I'd put on a starting bid, and it got that bid and nothing else. It's one of those things. It went for what it went for, but it's it, it happens. Um, hi, there is no sales yet either. I've got my ten ten pound packing voucher though. Oh, fantastic! And I know there's no way I'm going to be able to say your name. I know Carla can do it, but I can't. Ali Antin can copper kettle brass pan firmly. Done it. There we go. It's easier than I thought it was. <laughs> Hello, Lady Ray. Welcome, everyone that's just tuned in. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go through what I've bought. Um, I did go out sourcing yesterday, and I found a few bits. Um, and I've had two other sourcing days in the last two weeks. I've not really been doing a lot of sourcing, to be honest. Uh, more sort of organising where I'm up to and um, 
just trying to get on as many listings as possible. So I will show you these first, which are already packaged up because I've put them in. Um, I've already put them in the uh, packet ready to go because they're, they're ready to list. Uh, this is the thing now for me. This is something I've got to remember when I'm doing these videos is everything that I'm sourcing. Most of it's getting listed pretty quickly um, because I'm at that stage now where I've I've got past the whole death pile that I had before of three months work or whatever that I was working on. Um, so now I've packed this away thinking, oh yeah, it's fine, I can just pack it away and yet I've, I need to show you guys for the video. Um, but anyway, these are some Bowden hot pink uh, corduroy um, jeans uh, with this nice sort of, like, you probably won't even be able to see what see what's in here. But yeah, there's some Bowden size 8 regular um, Bowden jeans, they cost me 99p. Um, and these were all from uh, Newark. So I, I stopped on the way up north after uh, leaving London on Monday, I stopped at Stamford and Newark. Uh, there was nothing at Stamford, lovely place, really nice place, but there was absolutely nothing. Uh, so that was unfortunate, but these are all from Newark and that they were 99p for those bonus ones. I think they'll probably put them on for 9.99 or so. Um, Karen says she only auction stuff she wants to get rid of um, and get the 99 people supposed to. Yeah, I mean, that's it, but I did it. I did it with some items. Sorry. As you guys know um, from watching the previous videos, I'd, I was doing it with items that I'd not had a massive investment in. Um, now, the item, the said item that I want to discuss later, um, I didn't have a big investment in, but it should have gone for a lot more. It's just one of those things, um, but it happens. Anyway, so yeah, the Bowden. Uh, was 99p probably going to put it on for a tenner plus postage Bowden jeans don't go too well but I just thought the colour was nice they have a nice pattern to them. and they were in really good condition as well so uh, hopefully that has, a, has an effect on the price um, this is a again from the same shop um, in Newark this is a Whistles uh, cardigan um, with sort of like the velour velvet trim to it around the neckline and, and the buttons in that Y style um, this is a size two which actually you guys might be able to help me on this i went on the whistle size guide and there's no size twos um i guess size two would be medium or small normally so i've measured it and it's it's almost like a 10 to a 12 uh, from doing the measurements but it cost me 149 there's one that sold recently i believe for about 13 14 quid they took an offer and i think they had it on 1999 they took an offer at, uh, at 13 or 14 pounds so i'll probably put it on a similar amount so that's not a bad buy for 149 on that one um onesie <laughs> onesie for the day i wish i could have been a onesie that'd be fantastic i don't even own a onesie maybe that's what i need to get for christmas talking of christmas um <laughs> this is a pure merino wool mns cardigan this is in really good condition as well it's got um a very subtle herringbone pattern to it. It just looks like it's, um, yeah, it's hard to almost tell, but if you look up close, it is herringbone pattern with the chevron sort of design, and it's got these nice sort of brass gold buttons on. Um, long sleeve, this time of year, pure merino wool. Uh, Marks and Spencers, that was 99p, um, and I probably do, maybe a tenner on that one, possibly takes slightly less, hopefully. Um, well, not hopefully, sorry. The exact opposite of hopefully. Hopefully I'll get a tenner for it. Um, this was this is one that I've not shown actually in the previous video. I think I've had this for a bit, um, and this was from my local charity shop, one of my local charity shops. This wasn't from Lon on the way back from London, but this is a Ted Baker shirt. Uh, it's red and white stripe, pinstripe, um, and it's a size three men's, uh, so that's a medium really, uh, and that cost me three quid. Probably not a massive amount of profit in that one, actually. Looking back now, Ted Baker's shirts don't tend to go too well, but the condition on that is absolutely fantastic. Um, it's really, really crisp, like it's not been worn. I love it when you get ones like that, where you, where you get a shirt and it just feels really crisp. So um, I would imagine, uh, well, I think I'm going to go for 12 99 and hope that I can get it, but realistically it might not go for that much. I mean, some do. And if someone wants it, they'll buy it. That's the thing. With, with it being Ted Baker, if someone wants it, they'll buy it. So I may well wait that one out. But then again, I could do an auction at seven ninety nine and hope to get a bid at seven ninety nine. We'll just see. But for this for this moment in time, I think I'm putting it on at twelve ninety nine um, or fourteen ninety nine, one or the other. Uh, so this was again from Age UK in Newark. It cost me a pound. 
So this, the, this was the pound shop, which was awesome. Uh, and this is a whistle's dress. It needs a good iron. It's 100% silk, fully lined, and it's got this sort of... Obviously, it's got the tree design. I'm showing it. I'm showing you the back there. It's got the tree design there on the front, if you can see that. Hopefully, you all can. Um, and it has, if I lift this up high enough, it has a waterfall front hem there. Uh, so it's quite an interesting design. I did actually see one. I found it, unbelievably, um, sold on eBay. It was on bids at 99p. The photographs weren't the best. It wasn't the greatest listed. Unfortunately, it only sold for £3.20. Whistle's 100% silk dress, I'd have thought, would have gone for a lot more. Um, maybe it was just... Maybe eBay was turned off on that day. I don't know. Um, but... I don't know what I'll go for that one. I've not I've not completed the list. I'm not taking photographs of that one yet. So I'm not sure what I'll go for it. it it's a very much a cocktaily party time this time of year dress. So I'll try and get it on as much as I can. Um or sorry, not as much as I can, as quick as I can. I'd hope for maybe I don't know. I've, I've it's put me off that three pound twenty a little bit because I feel like whistles dresses, especially hundred percent silk, are worth a lot more, but maybe it's just the design. It's a champagne coloured dress though, so anyway. We'll, we'll, we'll maybe go for 15, 20 quid and hope. I don't know. Hello, Peter. Welcome, mate. I know you're not, you, you said that you might not be able to watch, but thanks for tuning in. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you can, you can see a little bit. The other thing that I did get, as I say, uh, which was the best pickup probably of this week, um, and I will show it in next week's video once I've listed it. If I've not listed it, I'll show you it in next week's video anyway. Um, but I did get a Mark Darcy uh, three-piece suit. Uh, from the Age UK in Newark on the way back. Same place as, as I got the rest of the stuff. The Whistles stuff came from there. Um, and I got a Mark Darcy silver. It's like a shiny uh, shimmer suit. Um, I'd say it's more of a dress suit than a work suit. Uh, but it cost me a quid for all of it. Um, which is just crazy to think. I mean, Mark Darcy suits go for... I mean, they're a lot anyway. They, get, they go for a really high amount and I know they pre owned they go for a lot on eBay. Um I think most of them are in the re region of like fifty to hundred and fifty quid or, or something around that mark. I paid a quid for th for li literally all three pieces for a pound. They had the suit on at a pound and it's the waistcoat, the trousers and it's a good size. I think it's like a forty four chest. Um and I think the is it a forty four chest? It's somewhere around that mark and the and the trousers are quite big as well so I'm really, really happy with that. That cost me a pound. I, I don't know what I'm going to put it on at. That may be one that I do at auction and maybe start at like 39.99 and see if it gets some interest. If it gets 39.99, I'd be happy. Um, but it could be one that I put on lower and just ease people into it. And fingers crossed it gets gets quite a bit of traffic to it. But yeah, Mark Darcy suit, three piece for a pound. That was probably the best pickup. Um, and I will show you that, I promise. I'll show you that in the next video. Um, this was a long George trench coat now this is from one of the affluent areas close to me um, and I bought from here before it's the RSPCA shop that that charges two pounds for uh, all clothes um, and they have some really good stuff it's the same place I got the Aussie Clark dress and things like that so um, Peter's been at the job center for, on a two-hour lecture oh wow okay was that f was that something that you were doing you were delivering Peter or Sounds quite interesting. Um, so yeah, black, large trench, well, longer trench coat. I think it's a calf, le calf length, and I believe it's a size 10. Uh, it cost me £2. It's George. I've got another George one, and they don't seem to go that well, but it's a black trench coat. Even if I don't put George on it, it it's probably going to be 15 quid, hopefully, uh, if not a tenner. £2 to a tenner is not the best, but it, it's okay. It's all right. I've, I've, I've had worse if... if in terms of profit, so I usually do the whole one pound to a tenner, two pounds to fifteen to twenty quid. That's the sort of basis that I, I set myself profit wise. Um, but I think it's just a nice coat and it's in immaculate condition as well. So I, I can put light new condition because it is. I don't even think it's been worn. It's one of those again that I don't think it's been worn. Um, right. So these, that's everything that I got from London. Basically, I didn't get much. Oh, I will show you these actually, which are quite cool. So this was a um, a box. Of stuff that was just on the on the shelf in one of the charity shops, um, and it said Sch Schwarzkopf on it, professional, and I was like, oh okay, um, what's this? And I'd, I obviously looked at the sticker and it said one was missing, and the original price was eight pounds. 
and they've taken it down to two quid because one was missing. Anyway, I opened it up and it was this. Hopefully you can see that. I don't know if you can, I'm hoping you can. Uh, if you can't, it is um, a company called Alessandro International. Um, and I believe they're like a trade company for beauty products. So you don't really get them on the high street. Um, and this is like professional standard trade, pro trade standard um, stuff. And it's just a, um, it's a gel top coat. Uh, and there's 11 in there and I paid two quid for them. Now there's someone got them on eBay at 8.95 plus postage. Um, and they're selling them. They've sold. I think they've had like eight available, and they've sold four already. So, yeah, like amazing. Um, so they were two quid, and I've got eleven of them. I'm gonna probably undercut that person by a couple of pounds and and do postage. Uh, so, hopefully, I'll make about fifty quid on them, which is really good. Uh, hello, Carla. Welcome. How are you doing? Um, Karen says she sold her tap shoes within eight hours. I've listened to them priced at the top end, then we're very worn, got 10.99. Wow. I tell you what, it's weird, isn't it? It is strange how, <laughs> how these things happen. Sometimes you just, uh, to be fair, I've got a barber, a pair of barber socks that you guys will have seen in the previous video. Um, I got the two new barber socks at 75p each. I listed them within, within 15 minutes they'd sold. It's, eBay's just a strange beast, isn't it? Just one of those. Welcome, Lex, um, and Reselling Polly. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Do appreciate it. Um, so, yeah, they were a really good find, actually. Um, and perfect for this time of year because it's one of those things that people might buy for stocking fillers. And I'm trying to not just buy clothes because even though clothes in the last week actually have been some of my best sellers, really, I'm trying to not just have clothes because I want to this time of year just seem no one's buying pre-owned clothes at this time of year are they i don't think maybe um i just feel like i'm i'm limiting my uh, my chances of sales really if i do that so um no one can understand ebay true they can't call i don't <laughs> and i've not been doing it that long and i i'm guessing you don't and you've not been doing it. you've been doing it a lot longer than me haven't you so um no one can understand it. it's one of those things where on one day you're doing great another day you're doing terribly so i don't know it's been as i say it's been a better couple of weeks for me to be fair um but i'm just still trying to build and build it's just one of those things anyway so these are all the bits that i got yesterday um i was back to my favorite shop in the world um which is my age uk shop where everything's 99p um now this first one is obviously very much a, a summer style dress but it was brand new with tags it was oasis uh, it's navy blue floral pattern with this sort of uh, red overlay floral design. It's a size medium. It is probably a mini to a midi dress. I'd say knee length dress. 99p. Its price tag was 40 pounds. So I can't. I mean, I just, you can't really go wrong, can you, with those? I, I I feel like I went to the charity shop yesterday and I, I was in there and there was loads of other people and I saw that dress and I thought, how has no one picked that out? Because there's people obviously reselling who who were in there as well. It's not just me that goes in there to 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 buy to resell. Um, and I was in there and I thought, how was no one picked out an Oasis dress that's worth forty quid? It's got its tags and it's ninety nine p. Like you can't lose at that. Do you know what I mean? I just, it's just I don't know. It's crazy. I th I just think why why is no one picking that? I mean I'm happy. Don't get me wrong, but um, it's definitely clothing. Definitely clothing sales plummet at this time of year. Yeah, well, it's my first Christmas doing it, really. So, um, or doing it in this context. I, I have done eBay for quite a while, but it's, um, yeah. To be fair, clothes did drop off for a little bit for me, Carla, but they have picked up the last few days. So, I don't know, maybe... Uh, we don't know, do we? <laughs> I don't, it's, it's guesswork. It's always guesswork. Um, Polly says sales have been good for the last two weeks as well, which is good, yeah. I mean, it's the same for me. Mine haven't been too bad either. So, um, even the man in my parcel shop is starting to worry about me. I have expected him to offer me a part-time job. <laughs> hey, that might be good. <laughs> Get a bit of extra money. Um, so yeah, this next one. Um, I didn't do any. I didn't do any research when I went in to the charity shop this time. I didn't look at my phone or anything. Um, I just picked out things that I thought were were good. And this is a mate that I'd not heard before. Of before but it's a, a mate called Jonathan Martin um, and it was just this work dress with the white sort of um, 
beading, not beading, sorry, stitch work. Um, it is a size 12, I believe. Yeah, size 12. Uh, and it's just a nice sort of pencil body body con work dress. Um, that was 99p. And I had a look last night, actually, and it just they just don't really sell that well. But it's a work dress, so hopefully I can get a reasonable amount for it, maybe 6 seven ninety nine. 99 uh, But most of them on auction go for two to three quid, so it's a shame. But it was worth the risk at the time. I thought a 99p, and I'm not going to make a loss on it, so it, it's neither here nor there. It's just one of those things, isn't it? Um, you just need to find the right clothes, coats, party wear. Yeah, that's true, Al. That's true. Um, I am trying to find stuff. I mean, I've bought, I've been buying quite a few Parker coats recently when I've found them. Um, you could eBay, sorry. Um, I've been trying to find Parker coats and things like that, and I have sold a few jumpers. And the thing that I'm really trying to find is the Nordic Fair Isle stuff because it's just like, I don't know if you guys have had a look. Um, on eBay recently, but anything that's anything that's Nordic Fair Isle pattern just goes like it just I don't I don't get why like people just go crazy for it this time of year. I think it's obviously all the people that are going skiing and things like that, um, or they just want like a Christmas jumper that isn't like novelty. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm keeping my eye out for those, but I've not seen much of them then uh, yet. Should I say? Um, Lex says. Coats and jumpers are the only clothes that she's selling at the moment. Yeah, I mean, I've sold a few bits, but I know it's that time of year, isn't it? It's just one of those things. You, Carla did get an amazing Max Mara 100% wool coat yesterday. Oh, fantastic. How much was that, Carla? Max Mara as well. That's really good. There is um, there is a auction house near me that sells stuff from time to time in big, like, job lots, and I have been thinking of maybe going for it. Um, they do like big pallet loads of clothes and they, they did have a Max Mara clothing pallet recently. You don't really get to see what you're getting, but they just give you like the RRP of the overall amount. Um, but I didn't go for it. I think it went for quite a lot. Uh, where did you get those Doc Martins that you have on your eBay? Is that is that a question to me, Daisy? Or is that someone else? I'm not sure if you're asking someone in the chat. Um can I risk putting a coast dry clean only dress on hand wash cycle? Um, what material is it? I'd say yes. Um, I, I don't really, I don't really, I think a lot of the time the whole dry cleaning stuff is one of those where it's like they do it just for their own safety as like a disclaimer if you ever try and return it. Um, most of the time, dry clean only is okay as long as you don't tumble dry it and you dry it flat. I don't really have too many problems with it, so um if you've got to say it was Caroline who spotted it, so when it makes me a fortune I'll have to buy her a gin. <laughs> well that's not too bad. If it's only one gin, you're alright, Carla. It's better than uh at least you've got the Max Marico, I guess. It was fifteen quid. That's good. That's really good, isn't it? Wool coats are all the rage. I've, I've been, uh, to be fair, coats is something that I've been trying to pick up as well. Um, I'm saying that, and I've got a running top here. So that, I mean, I'm not doing very well, am I? I've been trying to pick up coats, and I've, I get a thin-layered um, running top. But yeah, this is, any, anyway, this is a turquoise Nike uh, runner, long sleeve. Uh, re really good condition as well. Uh, 99p, medium. It's Nike, in it? People want Nike all the time. So, um, yeah, that was 99p. I'll probably put that on at a tenner. Maybe 15 quid at a push, but it's in really good condition. It's long sleeve as well, so that's always a good thing, especially for this time of year. Carrying it will be fine with it if it's polyester. I don't see that being a problem. I'd risk that, definitely. Um, right, I think I'm up to date. I'm not missing anything in the chat, am I? There's no questions. No, we're all good. Right. Um, so, yeah, we'll carry on. So, that Nike was 50, uh, 50 99p, um, and... As I say, hopefully around the 10 to 12, 13 pound mark. I, d I don't really know how much night goes for, but it's a really nice colour as well. So I think someone will take that. Uh, that should go reasonably quickly. It'll photograph well. Um, this is a Joe Brown's, again, waterfall style um, bottom hem to it. Joe Brown's dress, uh, probably thigh length, maybe maybe knee length dress um, in this sort of... They love, Joe Brown's love this monochrome sort of look, don't they? I mean, I know they have all the like the multicolored stuff as well and the patchwork and things like that but this is this is a um it's definitely a monochrome style dress it's a uk 10 joe brown's 99p 
can't go wrong. Joe Browns, I'll take, I'll take that. Probably go on for, again, maybe nine ninety nine, twelve ninety nine, something like that with postage. Um, yeah, I got it for ninety nine p, Carla. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I've, I'm quite lucky with the charity shops that I've got around me. Some of them, I mean, to be fair, that's the first time I've seen any, any Joe Browns in that charity shop. But um, yeah, it, I mean, it's ninety nine p in it. We can't go wrong with that. So. I was uh, I was very impressed again. How how did no one how did no one uh, find that? I'll put it on nineteen ninety nine with offers. Yeah, sells high. Well, you know more. I know you pick up quite a lot of Joe Brown. Oh, I've, from the videos I've seen, you've had a, quite a lot of Joe Brown stuff. So I'll I'll go on I'll go on your uh, recommendation um, and see and see if it sells. Um, I'm just trying to keep the traffic of sales moving. That's the thing for me. But uh, but yeah, I don't. I've not sold too many Joe Browns before. I have actually got in the sales update after this. I do. I do actually have the Joe Browns dress that I paid fifteen pounds for. Um, brand new with tags was has sold. So that's good. <laughs> Al says eighteen ninety nine as well. Yeah, great minds. Uh, so my Doc Martins. Oh yes, sorry. The the brand new ones that I've got Daisy. They are. I bought them on Doc Martins website. Um, they had a fifty percent sale on. And those were the limited edition Beavis and Butthead ones. So I bought four pairs of, of each design. Uh, none of them are sold yet, which is a shame, actually. Because um, I've got them £5 under the retail mark. But I think people have, there's still people that have got stock left and they're selling them quite cheap. So it may be a, a slow burner on that one, really. I, I invested quite a lot of money into them. Um, and, I mean, I'm okay to sit on that money. But it'd be, it'd be good if it was... Um, It'd be good if I could sell a pair, uh, but yeah, they they will sell. I know they will. I'm just waiting for everyone else's to to sell out. If you know what I mean. Um, so anyway, yeah, it's one of those really. Uh, I'm hoping they'll sell for Christmas, Peter. I don't know. There's there's still people that have got them on at like seventy nine ninety nine, and mine are at one hundred and twenty. So let's hope they sell. Do I have any dot mines myself? I don't actually know. No, I've picked a few up, but I've I've never I've never had a pair myself. No. I know the I know they're amazing quality though, so that's all. It's always worth always worth picking up, isn't it? Uh, anyway, this is a Bowden um, sort of gunmetal grey uh, long sleeve cardigan. It's got this little tie at the front, um, and this was ninety nine p as well. Bowden. It's this time of year. It's nice sort of. It's quite nice and soft. So um, ninety nine p again, probably a tenner, maybe hopefully something around that mark. I would I would envisage for that. Which is quite good. I always try and pick up Bowden. <laughs> I know we say, I know I say this in every video, but I always try and pick up Bowden. Some people stay away from it because I know Bowden have their own eBay store. Um, but I've had real success with Bowden in the past, so I, I'll keep buying it until it plummets for me. Uh, and I know that's quite plain, but it was ninety nine p, so I really can't, I can't lose. Uh, I bought a load of tote slippers, only three pairs left. Oh wow, okay, that's really good. How many did you have in the first place? Um, these, this is a obviously it's very Versace. Um, it's a Wallace dress, so I thought Wallace anyway is good at ninety nine p. But it's a Versace style party dress, perfect for this time of year. Um, New Year's, Christmas parties, anything like that. It's Versace inspired. I will put that in the title one hundred percent. It'll probably be right at the start. <laughs> um, that was a size ten actually, and um, really good condition again. It's polyester or something like that. I think. Is it feel yeah? It's a it's a fitted body sort of style dress. Um, really good colours on that as well. So that should go. I don't really know. Wallace dresses go for various prices, but with it being Versace style, hopefully maybe someone will pay twelve to fifteen quid for it. Um, your charity shops, your charity shops have bone and stuff for eight quid. See that just wouldn't be yeah. You could never pick that up at eight quid, could you? Unless it was new or it was something. Particularly special. Um, <laughs> seems to think Bowden and Monsoon are designer. Well, I guess I am quite lucky then with some of mine. To be fair, I don't find that all the time. It's 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 rare, and I guess that's quite a plain cardigan, isn't it? So maybe it might be a bit more elsewhere. But um, you you got twenty pairs, paid five pounds each, selling them for twelve ninety nine. Oh, brilliant! That's great. So you sold seventeen already at twelve ninety nine. That's really good going. I love having multi listings like that when you've got stuff that you you can buy in bulk and you just 
you just sell like I've I've had the Sennheiser headphones that have been selling very well for I've just sold the last of the white pair that I had for twenty four ninety nine. I started them at seventeen ninety nine and I just increased the price the lower I got in stock and they're still selling. So um, I think I, I think what I've got left I think I've got about twenty odd pairs left of the black ones that I've got um, and I I don't see them stopping selling really it's Christmas time people are going to buy them I've got the black ones at about nineteen ninety nine now so most people will, will buy that as a present uh, I mean Sennheiser headphones are really good anyway so um, I, I do love having those multi listings though it's, it's so useful to have like multi stocks of stuff just to keep you going when the when there's some days that you're not selling any of your unique items uh, our local hospice charity shops have special rack for designing labels and they always still build them there weird isn't it it's strange yeah i don't i don't really know why but why people why do you think bowden's a designer make i wouldn't put it in that category but to be fair, when I, to, when, when I was in Stamford, they had a lot of Bowden stuff. So in, in Stamford and Newark, they had like things like Bowden, White Stuff, um, Jack Wills, Fat Face, um, those sort of shops. That sort of, is it, can you call it middle class? <laughs> I don't know if that's, I, I don't know if that's a bad thing. It, it felt more of a, it felt like a more of an up, a middle class area um, and the shops seemed to, match that and there was a lot of bone in there and they wanted ridiculous prices for it um i guess i think i think it must yeah, i think I, th that's not offensive is it middle no it's not um i think it was just more of a middle class area uh, and they wanted a lot of a lot of money for stuff um anyway this was a misguided new with tags shirt dress perfect this time of year again really um long sleeve shirt dress green paisley design uh, what size is it? UK 10. And uh, yeah, it's probably, I'd say what, maybe 20 quid on their site. So I'll probably go for a tenner, hopefully, um, around that mark. But it was new with tags. What, you can't go wrong, really, can you? I think I think the things that are going to sell at this time of year are the new stuff. So I'm trying to pick up anything that is new with tags and get it on quickly. <laughs> Al said that it's sort of a middle class area. Great minds again. Yep, true. Very true. Um, but yeah, I mean, I have seen Bowden at like a tenner before for just like a top. I mean, there's places near me that, that do Primark tops at six, seven quid. Um, Pete says, he's sorry for not chatting, he's sorting stuff out of the job. Like, That's fine, mate, not a, pro not a problem at all. Um, so this is a jersey dress with like a tunic central ruching design to it. Uh, phase eight, and it was a size 18. It's quite a long one, perfect. Um really soft actually this uh and it was 99p phase eight dress and actually i was looking at like the jersey dresses on phase eight um especially like the the size 18s maybe the larger sizes they go really well i didn't realize just plain sort of jersey dresses go well so I may, I may well go for sort of 20 quid on that hopefully um or 20 quid with offers and hope that i get maybe 15 12 pounds uh but yeah that was that was only 99p so i was really actually i was really happy with that um not really this time of year, but people are, I guess people are always buying jersey dresses, sort of. They don't really have a season to them, do they? I don't think. I don't seem to think anyway. Um, right, last thing that I bought was this beige Laura Ashley jacket, um, which is really good. It is a size 12. They wanted 7 99 for it before, uh, and I paid 99p. So, yeah, it's in good condition. Doesn't look like it's been worn too many times. The pockets at the front are unopened, so that's always a good sign. I mean, not everyone not everyone opens them when they wear them, but most people do, don't they? Uh, and that was 99p as well. Laura Ash's stuff, obviously, it's the vintage stuff that we all look for. Um, but at 99p, I'm not going to lose, so that may be... I tried for 15 quid on that, probably, somewhere around that mark. It depends how well it photographs. Um, it's a good colour for photographs, so it should be okay. I'll try and uh, I'll try. I'm going to try and photograph most of this actually today. Um, fingers crossed, I can get it all on. But I have a lot of drafts. See, the thing the thing that I've been doing at the moment, and actually something that I've changed recently, is when I used to list stuff, I had it where I'd, I maybe do like ten listings and I get them all on at the same time. But then there'd be certain days where I've not got any listings to put on. So I recently have started to 
draft all my listings and then maybe put two or three up a day so at least I've got things going up all the time. Sorry, just hit my mic. Um, yeah, maybe I've got things going up, like two or three things going up every day. And I'm just, I guess I'm trying to test eBay <laughs> and uh, and see if somehow if I'm up, if I'm being proactive with eBay every day, maybe that'll give more traffic into me. I don't know. It's we'll never know, will we? Um, so it's one of those, isn't it? But I'm, I mean, I think it's better to have li new listings on my eBay all the time if I can. Uh, so that's what I'm trying to do. Um, right, let me just catch it with the chat, see see if I've missed anything. Um, how do you guys set your marks up? What do you aim for? Uh, I think I, oh, I touched on this a little bit earlier. If I'm paying a pound for an item, I want to make £10 plus postage. If I'm paying £2 for an item, I'd take between 15 and 20 quid. Three, 30 quid. Well, no, sorry, five, 30 quid. I think any. I think you sort of the more you spend, you think the more profit you want to make, but it's not necessarily that true because of the area that we're working in. Um, I think one pound items you want to make a bit more on, but um, when it gets to like three to five pounds, you'd be looking more at like a twenty to thirty quid. A tenner, I'd want to be making thirty to fifty quid. That's that's sort of the basis that I go on really. It, it all depends on what it is, but if it's clothing, that's where I'd be looking at. If I was spending a tenner on an item of clothing, I'd want to be making... If I was spending 10 to 20 quid on an item of clothing, I'd want to be making between 30 and £80, pounds, I guess. Um, Lex says, in the spirit of Carla, I bought 11 thimble racks. Oh, okay. Uh, and over 400 thimbles was 25 quid the other day. I'm already £55 pound profit with loads left to sell. Wow. Yeah, thimble racks are one of those things that I really didn't think had any value to them. Um, I know that my mum's had quite a few in the past and they seem to just have died a death. But then I saw, obviously I watched Carla's videos quite a lot. Um, and I saw Carla's, one of the thimble racks, so it was probably a month or two back actually where she sold quite a few in a row. Um, so I'll probably keep an eye out for them now if I can get them cheap enough. Because if they are going quite well, it's definitely worth looking out for. Um but yeah, it's really good, Lex, actually, really good. Uh, Going to have to catch the rest of the later. Got to go out, no problem. Oh, cheers, thanks, thanks for tuning in, Kyler. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by the stream. It's uh, I'm, I'm only going to go through my sales now anyway, so I've not really got anything else left to show. But yeah, thank you so much for stopping by. It's very appreciated. Um, right, so I'm going to show you, obviously I've had a couple of weeks now where I've not had, um, I've not shown you my sales. So I'm going to switch over to my other screen. And bear me a second. Right, let's just check this preview to see if it's... Yeah, okay, we got all real good. Um, right, so sales. These aren't all my sales from the last two weeks, um, but they are some of my better ones. So let me go from here because this I'm going in chronological order. Um, so I'll just talk you through how much paid for everything, as I always do, um, and, and how much I've got. So... This was the Paul and Shark shirt that I bought. Uh, it will have been three weeks ago, I believe. Uh, I paid three pounds, three pounds seventy nine, I think. It sold for nineteen ninety nine um, with postage, which was really good. That was quite a good markup. I know Paul and Shark's one of those that generally you'll get a decent markup on. It's, it, Paul and Shark is a designer make. Um, talk, I know we we're talking of designer makes before. Paul and Shark is definitely a designer make. Um, and it's a yachting, yachting company, but a lot of a lot of people like to wear it, and uh, yeah, that sold quite well. I probably could have got a little bit more for it actually, uh, but it was quite plain, in this sort of camel beige colour. So it went it went well. I was happy with that. Nineteen ninety nine. The customer was happy, which is the most important thing. So that was good. Uh, Kevin says there's row shops near me, two betting shops, two licenses. Greg's two freezer shops, chip shop, Subway, Chinese is, Indian. <laughs> wow, there is a lot of variety there. <laughs> that's crazy well that's it Al I know you've you just seen you said about the £10 profit um, it's not worth your time um, that's true I go off that it depends how many listings you've got to be fair I think with me I'm hovering around the 250 mark at the moment it depends on what I'm selling but most of the time I've got I wouldn't go under that 
I'd probably try and stick to that as well, really. So that's sort of the basis that I go off if I if I can. I mean, not you can't always get ten pound profit. Sometimes you get less, but it's just one of those. Um, so right, that was the yes. Yeah, so that was a Poland shark that was sold on the eighteenth. Um, this was a collection of Wedwood Wedgwood that I got from a job job lot auction. Um, I paid about fifteen quid for the auction job lot, and I've made. I've made a lot of money from it actually, um, and it's always worth picking up anything porcelain pottery wise if you can. Uh, depend, as I say, there's so much you need to know about porcelain and pottery, and I just don't know a massive amount, but I know enough to get by, which is always useful. Um, so yeah, this was a collection of Wedgwood Mirabel uh, china. There's seven pieces in this. I've put three PMP in the title. I've just realised in the pay postage. It's one of those I didn't. I've obviously not realised that. I changed over to the postage that I, but doesn't matter. <laughs> they didn't seem to they didn't seem to mind anyway. But yeah, this was a seven piece T set, not T set, should I say? Just a normal um, side dish, pin dish. Uh, there's a trinket dish there, bonbon dish, um, little terrine, bluster vase, or yeah, little bud vase there at the back, and then a side plate. So that went for 19.99, and I've had that on for quite a while. So I was really happy with that that sold and it's probably again the Christmas market that one that, that made that sell I think um, similarly this came from the same job lot um, that I paid £15 for this was a, a old Malba ware um, Toby jug and it's uh, Punch and Judy which was quite cool that went for twelve ninety nine plus postage the buyer was happy with that one as well so that was all good this was the M&S coat that I had in the previous video I believe was it the previous video I think I paid five pounds on this one. Uh, it's the cashmere blend coat. Again, this time of year, I was trying to trying to buy coats if I can. Uh, this was a sort of a dusty pink one, uh, coral colour, and it sold. It didn't sell for thirty nine ninety nine. I took a took an offer from someone at thirty five pounds, but I paid a fiver. So that's that sort of going back to Daisy's question of the whole, what sort of margins do you work with? That's where I'm looking at. And I did knew without tags because it was unworn. I know for a fact it was unworn because it had that on the side. Uh, I'll show you. No one, no one would leave that on the side of the uh, coat if they were wearing it. You just wouldn't. So I was happy to say that was a uh, that was new with tags. So yeah, that went quite well. Um, at thirty five quid, I paid a fiver. So thirty five quid plus postage was good. Now these are the barber socks that I was telling you about, which really didn't photograph well at all. Um, but it didn't seem to matter. Uh, I put them on, and within try not to show the guy so 1909 I put them on that and 1935 they sold the same day so um, that cost me they cost me £1.50 and I got £15 for those plus postage and the buyer was very happy so that's all good where do I get my clear bags from um, I buy them from a packaging company uh, I've got th these ones if you're talking about the barber socks here uh, I got them with the actual item. They were already they were in the item within the charity shop, so I didn't I didn't put them in these bags. Um, most of the clothing is like the Bowden jeans that I showed you before. That clear polythene bag is what I put them in. All my clothing, but they were just with the actual item themselves. But I paid I don't know how much I paid, but I got five hundred polythene bags about two and a half three months ago, and I've got loads left they've lasted me ages so um i'd i look at any packaging companies close by to you daisy for that um right carry on these are some uh asic uh trainers they are women's actually um they're a size six six and a half they look like a men's trainer i put unisex because i think they are um and I got a stock photo, which is always good. If you can find stock photos, that's great. Uh, I paid 59p for these, <laughs> which is mad, really. They cost me 59p on a clearance sale of Bernardo's. They sold for 16.99 and 3.99 postage, which was good. Uh, was that on eBay? Um, no, they weren't on eBay. The the packaging firm was a local one to me. It's an actual warehouse. Um, I've not bought any any of my packaging stuff on eBay, really. Most of the stuff I get is from that place, and it's it's reasonably priced. So, if you if there's any nearby you, then I'd have a look and see and see what there is. Um, this is a Jack Bear dress, silver, um, mother of the bride dress. It's over twenty six ninety nine, and actually that sold in that offer that eBay were having, where 
you only had a one pound maximum selling f selling fee, so I only paid a pound uh, fee on that instead of two pound seventy. So that's good. Um, so this is one of the auctions that I did. Uh, they only ended up going. For, they had six bids, and they ended up going for five pounds for these Pay the Florence um, slip-ons. Not too bad. I got them for free, so they were a fiver plus postage, which isn't bad at all. I'll take that. It's not too bad. Again, fantastic sale. The Jules Parker went for sixty four ninety nine. The customer was happy, which is good. Um, I paid seventeen pounds for this. This is one that I got from Wilmslow, uh, sort of three weeks back, and it's over sixty five quid plus postage. So that was a really good markup. I was very very happy with that. Um, and again, it's this time of year; people are going to buy it. Uh, so I got that on at the right time. So that was sold uh, at the weekend. Uh, the same two couple of days later, I sold this again. This was from a job lot that cost me one hundred and five quid. Um, and it's this rare scramble Latticino, uh, three three inch. So I'd I'd sold the two inch one previously. I think I showed it in a previous video, and it's over thirty six ninety nine. This one's over forty six ninety nine plus postage. So that was a fantastic markup. I paid three pounds seventy eight for that. Uh, what offer was that? So there's an offer that I had um, where if you list something within a certain weekend, if it's sold within a thirty day period. Um, you only paid one pound on the to eBay basically for the for the for the fee. So, do you send second class sign for Lewis? Yes, I do from time to time. Uh, most of my stuff goes Hermes though. Most of my stuff goes Hermes. Uh, this was the penguin. If you guys remember that I sold in my last video, um, it I paid four pound night for this and I did the whole bidding on it and it amazingly made 51 quid so i was absolutely ecstatic with that like, that went last weekend um and it's sent out to the customer uh, i've not had feedback on it yet but they've not it should have got there now so hopefully they're happy with it um this is a bolo look out for it uh, i did say it in my last video look out for the wilbur penguin uh, or wilbur penguin the explorer from british gas it's um it goes really really well so definitely want to look out for Keep an eye on it. So yeah, fifty-one pounds sold. I paid four pound ninety for it, so that was really good. Um, oh no, my daughter has taken us to. As up the quotes. Oh, okay, that's not that's not me, is it? It's Karen. I think you having a chat, right? Okay, I, just, I didn't want to miss uh, miss anything in the chat. So yeah, this was a. I bought this quite a while ago, and I actually paid six quid for it because it was new with tags. Uh, it's a River Island velour kimono sort of cardigan. Really nice, actually. Um, now I put the price down on this because I'd seen that someone had them on at twenty four ninety nine, um, and I just undercut them because I knew it'd sell. So I undercut them, and a few days later it sold. And the person's actually put their price down since I think. Uh, so yeah, so for twenty quid I paid six. So not the best of markups, but still definitely worth putting on. Right, this is the Burberry. Now this is my. The one I'm a bit gutted about, really, because I, you guys remember I bought this a few weeks back. I paid 99p for it, and this was when I was doing the idea of toying with doing auctions and buy it now. If I'd have done buy it now, I'd have probably put this on for 25 quid, and I'd have waited for it to sell. Now, I did the um, auction with this because I only had 99p in it, and I thought, why not go for it? It's a very good design to make. People are going to bid on this, and it may make quite a bit of money. Most of the ones that have gone on auction have been selling between 18 and 25 pounds. So I was like, I should expect around that mark. Photographs were good, or I felt they were good. The listing was as good as normal. I didn't do anything different. Um, and it got one bid. <laughs> and I was gutted. But I guess that's what you, the risk you take when you're doing auctions. And that's why I sort of avoid auctions, if you, if you know what I mean. Because with things like that, even though I've not got a lot of money in it, it could have got me a lot more. So I feel like I've lost out a bit there. But I still got profit, so it's, it's, it's a positive thing. However, that's one of those where if I'd have gone for more and the buy it now, it may well have sold in a few weeks' time and I've got 25 quid as opposed to something else. Lady says she loves the penguin. I know, it's amazing, isn't it? I can't, I'd never, I'd never, who'd have known that a British gas penguin could be worth so much money? Um, but yeah, look out for that. It's definitely the bolo of the day, really. Um, this was a polo, Paul Smith polo that I got. Um, funny story with this one actually, because I paid a pound for this at Car Boot a while back, and I had it on at twenty six ninety nine for a few cycles. Someone had offered me twenty five, twenty 
five quid, which it sold for. Um, and I didn't take it because I had about 15 watches on it and I thought it's just going to sell, which was very uh, arrogant of me, I guess. Uh, I was a bit complacent in that and I should have taken the offer. Anyway, I've since put the price down um, because it just wasn't getting any traction then. And the guy that had offered me originally 25 quid for it offered it me again. <laughs> Um, so he come, he's come back and, and it's sold to him. So I guess I'm happy because it's sold for the same price that he wanted it at. So it's sold for £22.20 and then the postage was £2.79. So it's sold for 24 quid, uh, including postage. That's not too bad. I paid a pound. Um, this was a next top size 20, so an oversized plus size top, which I got from Wilmslow or Bramall the other week from that 99p shop. So I paid 99p and it's actually sold for 15 quid, which is really good for next. It's pre-owned as well, so I was very, very happy with that. Um, really happy. Uh, so yeah, next year tops in that size, maybe something to look out for, especially that floral design. I'll be keeping an eye out for those in future because that one went really well. I was really happy with that. This was a Joe Brown's dress uh, that I got. Again, I paid 15 quid for this, so I, it's one of the things that I paid up for on um and it's a size 16, brand new with tags, and I managed to find the the picture online as well, which is awesome. Um, tunic, monochrome, uh, patchwork dress, and it's over 44.99 plus postage. So again, that's sort of on the going back to Daisy's comment of of the of the markups. That's probably at the lower end of what I go for, but 44.99 is better than what a lot of them have been selling for. I'd seen a few that have gone brand new with tags at 18 pounds on on um auction on an auction so i left it about now and hope that someone get in, in touch with me and they did so that was a good sale and then this is a cashmere um silk wool blend uh torp uh v-neck jumper from the white company i've had this for ages the first time i, I put it on the cycle it, it had so many watches and i thought i put it too low and it was just going to sell immediately it didn't sell and it just took ages to sell but it's eventually gone uh, that sold yesterday at twenty six ninety nine, and I paid a pound or ninety nine p. So yeah, I've had quite a few. I've had a few good weeks really. Sales are up um, again. Um, I think I'm hovering around the four hundred pound mark for sales in the last seven days, uh, and I'm back up to I'm up to two hundred and three feedback, which I'm really really happy with. Uh, so I was really I'm. Well, really happy to say I've got the 200 feedback. Still 100%. Um, and this is awesome as well. Um, and I'm not sure whether you, some of you guys are to do with this, uh, which if you are, I'm really thankful for. But I've got quite a lot of people following me, which I think is something that I'm trying to really build if I can. Because the more followers I've got, the more likely people are to see my items. Um, so if you don't follow me and you do want to, I really would appreciate it. Obviously, I'll follow you guys back if you let me know when you've followed. Um, but yeah, that's a great... Um, that's a great addition. So yeah, thank you if anyone's following my uh, my eBay. I really do appreciate it. Um, Lewis, is there a set time for you doing these live streams? It's usually between now and sort of four o'clock, I'd imagine, Peter. I, I it all depends on how my day's gone. Sometimes I go and source on a Friday. So um, anyway, let me just switch back to me. Right. Okay, I should be back on myself now. Let me just check. Everything's all right. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Um, so yeah, that is the end of this video. Um, thank you all for tuning in. Uh, sales have been good for me. I'm hoping they've been good for you guys as well. Um, and that your weekend all goes great. I've had no sales today, but we'll keep an eye out on. Hopefully we'll get some through in the next uh, few hours. Obviously there's a long time to go yet of the day, so I'm fingers crossed with uh, with that. Um, but, oh, thank you Daisy for the follow. Really do appreciate it. That keeps happening with me and Leather Jackets 3 on. Loads of watches and no sales, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Maybe our price is slightly high. I don't know. But they'll eventually sell. They'll eventually sell, I'm sure. Great finds and sales. Thank you, thank you, Polly. Appreciate it. Um, so, yeah, if you do want to leave a like on the video, if you guys are still here, that'd be fantastic. I really would appreciate it. And if you aren't subscribed to the channel, if you do want to subscribe, that would also be uh, greatly appreciated as well. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys have a very good weekend. Uh, keep listening, keep selling. Uh, I will see you guys next Friday. I'm set. I'm not doing anything next Friday, so I should be. I should be here for another video. Uh, if there's any topics that you want me to discuss, let me know, and we'll see what we can have. A, we can. We'll see what we can discuss next Friday. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, leave a comment if you'd like in the video afterwards once it's processed. I will pop it in the chat chat. Um, but yeah, have a great weekend of sales. Keep listening, and I will see you guys.
next Friday for another video. Thank you so much.